I can finally mostly just sit here and wait for it to rain gold and other stuff coming down. Look at it all. This is fun. This is finally what I wanted. Took hours of fine tuning and setup to get here, but I think we're finally here. I think we can still go a lot bigger. Now in order to ramp things up again, I'm gonna need some more money. If only I knew where to find some gold. This in itself is probably gonna be a very annoying process because I've got a lot of very big gold nuggets to pick up and drop in here. But it's gonna be fun to see all of this put into basically one little piece of jewelry. I would just set these up to automatically go into a container, but where's the fun in that? I like to see the pile of gold. This looks to be about half the gold. I'm gonna put it into two separate gold bars, which will make one piece of jewelry. And while I'm waiting for that to smelt, I'm going to swap a few things out. I'm told you should put the boosters a little further down the line. Gold bar number one, that's going to be a valuable one. That looks to be about the rest of it. And then we just need one colossal gem. I think this is about as big as they get. One enormous ruby. Which looks something like that. Which gets poured into there, which makes another gold bar. Which, when heated up, gets turned into nothing because I forgot to pick what I wanted. A ridiculously expensive amulet. Prices are down $81 for these today. So that means it's only worth $50. $53,101. That's probably going to be enough to cover our adventures for the day. But I guess that depends on exactly what it is we're going to get up to. It's a good day to be the guy that owns this store. And there is going to be a lot of buying today. The first thing I want are more the Goliath drills, because I've got a plan for these. Seven in total should probably be enough. And I do want a few of these water valve pipes, because I want to be able to start and stop the flow if I want to. And then one of these new conveyor shredders, which turns the big clumps of dirt into smaller ones. For now, let's go take all this stuff back and get it roughly into place. We're still going to need to buy a lot more stuff. And before I forget for the millionth time, let's put a plug in that. That's going to save me a little bit of water pressure for now. And the next six drills are just going to work their way up the conveyor belt for now. They should also all find really big gold provided they have adequate water pressure. So picture this times seven. Or just look down here now. I still have to plumb them in, but they're in place. And now that I'm back here digging behind them, I might have to space them out a little bit just so I can make sure they all plumb into each other, but we'll see what kind of pipe parts we get to play with. Going to install a valve somewhere right here for now as well. Also placing one under ground right before all this stuff that way I can shut it off and don't burn all this stuff out constantly because it's a lot of fun to have to fix this stuff every 10 seconds. And then it's back to the store to buy a whole bunch more stuff. And to be honest with you, and this might come as a surprise, but I'm mostly just guessing at what I need right now. I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of the things I think I'm gonna need and I'm probably still gonna need to come back for more of them. I always feel like it's gonna be a good idea when I buy so many parts they all blend together. Someone recommended that more filters would help my stuff last longer so we're just gonna try that anyway. And then from here we gotta buy some conveyors but we gotta pay for them first. The mountain of gold I'm picturing at the end of all this is really putting a smile on my face right now. Was kind of hoping I could loan load back into the game without this happening, but my stuff just unloaded itself again, so hopefully nothing too important fell into the sky. Uh, the game is also crashing. Well, nope, there it goes. It's just working its way out of the truck. Probably should not have loaded in with stuff in the back of my truck. I knew better. I just didn't listen. Honestly, that's not that big a deal. The only problem is the ground is probably going to start eating some of this stuff pretty soon, so that's going to get annoying. Now I need to build this conveyor up just a little bit higher. Something like this. Then we've got to add our grinder thing. And then that thing's going to sit kind of way up there. And then it's just a matter of carefully placing some blocks in just the right spots. At least it lets me walk all the way up here for building what it is I'm building. But to do this, I've got to steal my boxes from their old location. And that part's done. It's not pretty, but it's gonna work. Maybe I'll even add a funnel. That way it looks a little more professional. And now I'm gonna tackle the plumbing of all this. Probably gonna have to relay them out, like I said, but we'll get this. That's the last piece I needed to have them all plumbed in. I'm a little bit concerned with how easy that actually was. That just means something down the road is gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. But as of right now, if I was to turn the water on, I would have seven Goliath pumps all feeding dirt to this conveyor belt. Don't quite have enough pipe to finish what I wanted to build yet, so I gotta go back to the store, but before I do that, I gotta remove everything from the dirt, otherwise it's gonna fall through the ground. We'll commandeer some more boxes, and this is basically gonna be where my new mountain of gold is gonna fall. By my math, I needed another 30 boxes, and that's on the low end of things. I don't know if you've ever seen what it's like to try and put boxes into the back of a truck in this game, but it's not fun. Now that might not look like a lot, but if the truck were to flip or do anything exciting, the game would probably crash in horrible fashion. And lastly, maybe just a few more tool bags because I feel like a lot of stuff is going to break. At least placing the boxes at this point is very quick to do. And this should about work. The last thing I really need to do before we can fire up is start placing some boxes over here to block what these things spit out. And we're somehow short by one entire box, so I guess I'm going all the way back to the store just for that. And just like that, I'm actually more or less ready to fire this thing up at this point. Just gonna place a few of the power crystals where I think they need to go and maybe add a few filters. And this one in here, just to make sure that that thing is getting maximum results because it's about to be eating a lot of dirt. Currently taking predictions on how long this is gonna last before something breaks. 
I'm basically going to be spending my whole time repairing things, but that's going to be worth it. Is the whole thing working now? We have pressure, we have pressure. So my grinder thing is working, I need to turn the valve down here to get my conveyor belt going. And also the drills, the seven large drills. This one sounds like it's working. Uh, do you guys all want to turn on then? Ooh, I forgot I'm going to have to manually turn these on. This is going to be a little bit of work in itself. But think about all the dirt we're about to get. At least until they run out, but then, you know... We'll worry about that. I'll keep feeding these things as they go. I might have to add a few more boxes up here because I can't actually walk along the conveyor. Like, it pushes me in, obviously. Here comes our dirt, and yeah, we're gonna have a lot of dirt. I might actually have to slow this down a bit, but I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. Dirt going through. Oh, is it falling out there? I might have to... Yeah, it's just piling up at the top. But that's all right. I got a grinder right there just for that problem. And, uh, you know, probably also this problem. My grinder will eat this dirt up into smaller chunks but then that's going to send it to the other big one but you know what i knew this was going to be some fine tuning so all we gotta do is take this guy and put him here and then uh right this one here we'll take this big one and throw it over there whatever this will work this will be fine having too much dirt is actually a good problem i swear it's just going to be a matter of fine tuning this thing until it works it might be because there's a cork here actually that's stopping things from working i'm going to take that out for now and hope that was the problem Whoops. Gonna have to give things down there a little more room as well. They're just piling up. I've got like a huge piles of dirt down there that aren't making it anywhere. Okay, you back in the grinder. And yeah, that's actually working a little better already. We're struggling a little bit so far. We're getting some gold and we did get some power crystals. So we're succeeding. Definitely gonna add some more juice in places to make sure we're getting the big, big gold. Because there's a few big and a few medium pieces of things over here. And we're gonna have to widen up that tunnel at some point. Or even put a few grinders sporadically along the uh, conveyor belt. I'm not really sure yet. Let's uh, free these up. Already got our first broken thing. That's no surprise really. Got a few of them broken. Who'd have thought? Let's follow this guy up and see where it goes. The adventure of a rock. Goes up, gets uh, minced, and then pushed against the other rock, which somehow doesn't fit. How did that even get there? Went through the grinder before it even got there. Yeah, I'm going to need to build a little platform up here just for staging rocks. Because I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of my time up here. But look at all the gold... We're getting already. Okay, bye. I'm kind of glad most of these are broken right now because I need a minute to kind of recalibrate things. But so far, I'm considering this mostly a success. Right, so we'll add a little more power right there. That should get me a little bit better results up top. And if need be, I'll add another power crystal. Do these drills need to be on? Nope, for me to fix them. I can just go up and down the list. Hopefully this actually works. And I don't know if they still have dirt. I think they do. I ran out of tool bag already. Well, let's resume our operation. Hopefully it's a little bit more efficient than it was before. Not that I'm complaining. Well, already it's spitting out a lot of rocks. Hopefully those just land exactly where they're supposed to. I'm quite glad I put that grinder right before. <gasps> nope, they're piling up into a big rock already. Outstanding. But here comes some more. They're still digging for dirt. And it's better so far. Still not perfect, but it's better. Look at how fast those things go in. Look how much gold we're going to find down below. And we'll kind of clean up some of this mess we have lying around. Those are a little bit tricky to place. But they'll find their way to where they're going eventually. Hopefully. Maybe. Oh, we got a... Okay, that's where all my stuff is hiding. Okay, I'm taking the funnel away because that's not working for me. So far, so good. The only thing I'm going to re be removing are these because I need to use these occasionally all around the area. I never gold hiding up there. Yeah, there's definitely a bit, but whatever. And I think these guys are all out of dirt for now. I'll replace them in just a minute since the conveyor's still going. Let's get the rest of these clumps of dirt up there so they can be processed at least. I keep getting these little jam ups. All it takes is one rock to sit in the wrong place and the whole thing doesn't work. So I might need to find a better way of doing this. That one's probably too big. We'll feed it to the grinder. The grinder is a nice touch, but still need some fine tuning for this little guy. I just remembered that I can use my shovel to place dirt in certain spots, so I might be able to use the dirt as a kind of funnel for up here. Might make a big difference. I want to see what this guy breaks down into. Big rock? Okay, we got another jam. Of course we do. And that turned into a big rock again. Okay, you. Yeah, good enough. And there. Progress. Anyways, after a few days of running, we already have a pile of this big, so that's definitely quicker than if I was doing it by hand. Still need some fine tuning. It's definitely a bit of work. We'll figure it out. The first thing I want to do with the dirt is kind of plug some of the holes right there. That way the gold can't bounce out or backwards. It's got to fall out of that slot. Added a few corners of dirt that might help them sit in there more center so they get ground up more efficiently. But maybe not. There's only one way to find out. Also need to find a way to replace the dirt under these fairly easily. Looks like I might actually be able to do this while the drill is in the ground. Not sure how much a game is going to like this method. But if I don't have to remove these a billion times, that's going to save me a lot of time. And let's give this guy a test run to see exactly yeah that kind of works actually those pieces of dirt will make a difference i'll keep funneling them as need be refilled the drill dirt uh made a few switches so let's see exactly how this is going to work everything should be operating again the drill should be going my conveyor belt should be moving dirt should be processing and so far that one's not 
piece of dirt still sitting where it shouldn't be. So we might add some dirt to that, but this should be still improved. Uh, yeah, hi, you're in a conveyor belt. So if you want it, there we are. Right. Okay, we got a few of these broken for now, but I got to turn them off and on again because they like that. Looks like I might actually have to take them off and replace them every time if I want to replace them with dirt. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be the ticket. And there we go. Dirt is on its way back up to the top and that timing kind of isn't going to work. What if that's why they're getting stuck? The, all the dirt is smashing together down there. It doesn't matter if they get big up here because this thing will eat them and grind them anyway, but down below they will jam up. It's definitely running a lot more efficiently. It just ate all those dirt chunks and I didn't even have to help. Our pile of gold down there is going to be getting big. How did a piece of dirt get all the way down there? No wonder we're having so many jam ups. Okay, you go through there. I want to see exactly how this part's working out. Uh, pretty good. Stuff is making it through, but a lot isn't, so we're gonna manually drop some of this down. So this is more or less two days of inefficient running. I can't wait to see what else we can do. I think if I kind of place the dirt almost all the way around and dig out the center of it, that might make enough of a funnel to be able to feed this thing a little better. Already, I like the look of that a lot better. Let's just give it a practice drop with a bigger piece of dirt that holds it pretty center. I'm not sure how much that's gonna help for the bigger pieces, but whatever. We'll fire it up and see what happens. Just painfully replaced all the dirt for all the drills, so Let's fire it all up and see what happens. I also found a place down below for a power crystal to power my drills better. Since I've got a million of these things anyways. Uh, you know what? I'm probably gonna have to wait to be able to get that thing in here. Unless I'm really quick. You open, uh, get in there and close. Actually, that was easier than it normally is. First dirt of the day. Is it gonna work with my new little funnel design? Please work. Please work. So far, so good. Everything goes flying through. And I need to put a lid back on the boxes. Well, the game definitely doesn't like what I'm doing. It seems to be, uh stuttering a lot. Yeah, I didn't want that piece of dirt anyway. That's fine. Oh, we're getting more jam ups. I might have to raise the ceiling down here. I mean, when things are working great, it's a continual line of dirt, which is a continual line of gold, but there's a few hiccups. Need more room. So far, my new funnel design is actually working great. I've only had one jam up really so far, and we'll see what this one does. Watch the big guy go through and jam up, of course. Okay, let's shut things down for a minute while I address the clogging problem. I'm really hoping this is going to be just as easy as raising the ceiling and it'll slide on up. If not, this will be considerably more work because I'll have to rearrange everything. But so far, it looks like they're actually free. And let's try that. Resume. By the time I get over there, I should hopefully see some large chunks of dirt going up my conveyor belt. Including the one that's already clogged at the top. So that's fun. Are they moving? Nope. They're not moving. That's not good. All right, well, we'll have to think about a new way to do that. I might be able to use dirt for that as well. I can tell things are going now because the frame rate is dropping and I can hear gold flying everywhere. That's the sound of profit. I mean, considering how much gold we're finding every day, we're doing pretty well, but I still want a few adjustments to make this better. I'm curious to see if just removing the top row boxes is going to give them enough room to bounce over the top if need be. So we're going to try it just like that. Also made a new little funneled improvement here, which so far seems to be working very good. Uh, they're not spitting any dirt out yet, either because they're out of dirt or they're broken. The next thing I'm gonna have to buy is repair kits. I'm gonna do it the smart way this time and I'll go bottom to top. That way I don't get crushed by dirt this entire time. Good news, I think they're out of dirt anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just clean up some of this area for now. Just let all the big chunks go up there and hopefully get processed because they're cluttering up my space. And something else broke because nothing is moving and I don't have any more repair kits. Oh, there's a problem way out there. Oh, both things broke. Outstanding. See, this operation is absolutely great when it works, but it definitely has a few hiccups like 95% of the time. So I'm gonna buy like 10,000 of these and all also a spare shovel and a pick because I'm tired of having to chase it around everywhere. I'm also going to try placing some dirt around the bottom of this to hopefully fill in some of those gaps so little pieces stop getting stuck there. I had to build myself a little staircase just to get up there. Not really sure how well that's going to work but I did fill in some of the gaps so that hopefully should help a few of the jam ups. The dirt has all been replaced. I forgot I need a repair kit of which I now have a billion. Now I'm just hoping for way less jam ups. Why are these ones not on? Hello? Lights on? Thank you. So far so good. No jam ups. Uh, as long as this gets into where it's going Going, and that's not good. It's sitting right on top of the grinder and doesn't want to grind. What's that about? I was mostly worried about jam ups down there and so far we actually haven't had any so this is running more efficiently than ever before. Imagine that mountain of gold down there getting ever bigger. I think we're basically there already uh, if you ignore problems like that down there but the dirt that does make it up here makes it in and there's very few jams at this point. Our pile of good stuff is getting big. I've always wanted it to rain gold on me. Is this gonna work? Yeah here it comes. Look at it all falling out. Uh, it's very laggy though because the game isn't loving all the things going on. But if the frame rate isn't suffering, I'm not trying hard enough. I guess at this point we're mostly just waiting for a giant pile of gold to appear below us while we sit here and slowly maintain this mess. We are getting a whole bunch jammed up down there. I'll fix that after today, but for now I'm just enjoying the massive amount of progress we're making. Everything funnels in there so nicely and easily now. Wow, as soon as I shut off my operation, the game runs so much better. It's just got way too much stuff going on down below, but there's a pile of gold now. Even got a few clumps of dirt down here somehow, but 
but we'll clean things up eventually. This mountain's gonna get big. And I give the conveyor belt a lot more room to work with because I removed a bunch of the boxes. Now all of the pieces of dirt should have more than enough room and this should hopefully catch all the pieces of dirt as they fly out. So let's see if my newest improvement is gonna be any actual improvement or not. So far it's not looking optimistic. But I also need to repair each and every one of these because they all break on cue. Not sure if adding any more filters is gonna help that or not, but they do need to be fixed. I think today, now that I've just replaced all the dirt, this is as efficient as this operation is going to get. And you can tell by how leggy it is that there's some dirt moving. My new uh, barrier to keep the dirt rolling isn't really working super great so far. I thought I had that just right, but I guess not. It should work pretty good though, as long as dirt doesn't crash into each other. Like, it can't be that bad. It's just things like that happening. It's almost getting too leggy to play at this point. Anytime anything happens, the frame rate drops so bad that I can barely even move. The game runs pretty good though. If I turn off all the drills like I did and can just work the conveyor belt, then it works pretty fine. I'm also gonna add another two of these grinder things to help break down the rocks before they get to the crusher part of things because sometimes they still make it there really big and clog up my thing. I probably could incorporate some of this stuff to help my operation but I don't really feel like getting creative at this point. I just want to keep going with what I have to make a mountain. And I'm out of fuel again. Good thing I'm close to the store so I can just buy a bucket and fill her up. Not sure if this is gonna make much of a difference but I sure hope so. So let's throw one of these really big rocks on top nice and center for once and then see what happens once it gets to the top. Hopefully it breaks it down, breaks it down again into nice small pieces and they don't ever get big again. No one ever said it was a quick process. They tend to get jammed up right here and uh that's not really good. Oh they make it over eventually. Okay what happens? They break down and kind of stop. Well, they made it in eventually, but they're also kind of stalling along the way. But I think if there's ones coming up behind them, they will push in eventually. So let's ramp it up a bit and throw like a hundred of these big rocks on in there. That should make it up. And then we'll throw another one behind it to see what difference that makes. And go. Number one's about to ram number two, and it's going to fall right off. Need to do something about that transition point. But it broke down a few times and turned into gold. Well, here's an interesting problem. Rocks this big are the wrong size. They won't actually get grinded up. They'll just pause right here and that doesn't help anyone. I think it worked better with only this single grinder. Decided I did want to try a little experiment. This might work better. I might not have stuff flying out quite as much anymore. This could be hugely helpful. Now the only question is, did this make things better or worse? If we're comparing it to my track record, then things just got much, much worse. But let's see. My main concern is mostly these really big rocks have a way of just falling off because they roll off to the side or they hit each other and bounce off to the side. This should hopefully keep them clumped up, though it might make them jam up a lot also. Kind of like that. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to place them a lot nicer now because normally when I place them, I kind of throw them. Now they'll fall right in there and then not move at all, so great. Well, it kind of works. I mean... A mild success, I guess? It also makes a huge difference when your conveyor belt is properly powered and moving at full speed. Though so if I can actually get a rock to land on there, look how much faster that goes up now. So it'll bump right over the top and go on in. Those things will... Yep, there we go. It's working. Yep, okay, so far so good. I'm liking this. I'm not liking that part. Still getting the jam ups though. Feel like no matter what we do, we're getting jam ups. Anyways, let's turn all the drills back on and just let the material go. Now that we got our little uh, flaps holding everything in, it should be more efficient than ever before, which means more gold than ever before. So the rocks will tumble up and yep, as long as I keep doing just that, we'll get tons of gold. Because the dirt comes up in those nice big clusters, we still lose a few off the edge for some reason, but I'll fix that up eventually. Boy, I wonder where my pick could be. Maybe right here, trying to disappear into the ground forever? You may have noticed the frames have dropped once again. The game is going a little bit slow. I'm trying to clean that up right now. I'm going to build those ramp things all along here to work a little bit better for this dirt. I think that's going to be a lot better way of doing it. I got to go buy a whole bunch more of those ramps. Look how much of my stuff is flowing in the air now. I think these are going to work out pretty nicely. At the very least, it looks kind of cool. Whether or not this is really going to work, we're about to find out. Enjoy these frames while we have them. Massive leg spike incoming. Replaced all the dirt from the drills too. Okay, things seem to be moving along now, except for me. I'm the only thing that's stuck, and my conveyor belts aren't moving anything at all. Okay, and that rock was just jammed for some reason. Do you go now? And how about you? Would you like to go? All right, so far so good. I was worried the rocks would catch the edges of the uh, roofing stuff, but you know, so far they're holding on really nicely. So at that point, but at least they're still holding on, and... Of course. So far things aren't too bad. I'm a little curious as to why more dirt isn't coming up from the bottom, considering they're all uh, freshly filled drills. Well, there's one piece coming up. They might actually be shooting over the ramps a little bit. Or maybe there's only a few of them turned on. That could be the problem. And the big rock actually makes its way up. It gets caught a few times, but it does make it out. So that's an improvement. And the boulders still do get caught in the corner, but the littler ones push them along. 
And so far it's actually working really well. I'm really impressed with this part of the setup so far because it's just feeding me gold. I can finally mostly just sit here and wait for it to rain gold and other stuff coming down. Look at it all. This is fun. This is finally what I wanted. Took hours of fine tuning and setup to get here, but I think we're finally here. I can just sit here and wait. And yes, this pile of gold definitely is very big, considering the base of it is way bigger than the last one I built. Well, we are still getting jam ups, but they're fewer than they were before. And bigger rocks can make their way out. I just don't think the world is ready yet for my creations. Things feel like they're running a little slow again, so I'm gonna add a little bit more power right here. Not sure if we need it here, but I'm gonna add it here. I've got like a million of these lying around anyway. We might as well just go full juice. My little pile of gold is definitely starting to get pretty big. Plus there's still quite a bit of it jammed up there. It kind of trickles out every time it starts to get pushed through. I mean, I guess that's a pretty big pile of gold. Judging by how slow the game is, we're definitely moving some dirt today. Starting to get a little bit of a build up, but actually it's mostly managing itself pretty well. Has occasional clog there and at the corner of the ramp, but... It mostly just mines a whole bunch of gold for me. I am pretty sad I can't just sit here all day and let it rain gold on me because it needs so much fine tuning and adjustment, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with the result overall. I would love to smelt this and weigh it and sell it and see what it's worth, but we're gonna have to save that for next time because I'm just out of time. My goal in my brain initially was to make a pile of gold as big as my truck. Didn't quite get there, but still did a decent job over this many hours. 